In this video, I'll be showing you how you can easily export your Bevy project to the web browser with WASM or WebAssembly. Before we begin, if you have any problems with this tutorial, join my Discord server and if I'm not too busy, I'll help you out. I advise you to search online for answers though because it's a very important part of software development and game development in general. Let's get straight into it. First off, we're going to need to download a few things. Just a note, all links and pre-written code in this video can be found either in the description or comments of this video. First and foremost, we need Rust, which I assume most of you have already downloaded for Bevy anyway. We will be using the rustup command to download a few packages later on in the video. Next, I'm going to need you all to go to the Node.js website and run the installer for that as well. We need Node.js so that we can use the npx serve command to run a local server and test if our web build actually works later in the video. Okay, now that we have all of our packages, it's time to get started. The first thing we need to do is open up the terminal. After we open up the terminal, let's navigate to the root directory of our project. For anyone unfamiliar with the command prompt, don't worry because we will only be using basic navigation operations such as cd to open folders. If your path is not easy to reach like mine, just copy the path and write cd whatever your path is. Next, let's add wasm support to our project with a rustup command. For me, since I've already done this one time, it will say that I'm already up to date, but it might say something different for you, so keep an eye out for that. Next, let's install WASM bind gen CLI, which we're going to use to generate our WASM and JS files for our web build. There is a much easier way to run our project using a crate called WASM server runner, but to my knowledge, the method I'm about to show you is a lot more direct and customizable as it allows you to have a fully releasable web build just by copy and pasting some folders and creating an HTML file. I might be incorrect because I've been using this method for a while and haven't really gotten around to seeing if other methods are better than it, but as applies to many things in life, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, now that we've set up all the dependencies for our project, the only thing that's left is to build the project and then serve the project with Node.js and an HTML file. So let's go back into command prompt and first build our project for the web. Now after this is finished, we just have to run a command to filter the output of the build into a folder which we will call out, and later on you'll see how we'll utilize this. You might have noticed I made a slight typo, so just type the second command and don't type the first one that I used. Okay, last step. Let's create a directory called web, which is a folder that we will, for example, send to websites like itch.io so they can embed and allow others to play our game. In this folder, we copy our assets folder and the wasm output folder. Next, create an HTML file and copy the code in the pin comment into it. Don't leave yet, we aren't done. Change the name of the JS script at the bottom of the file to the name of your JS file in the out folder, which is probably just your project name. Now we can use the command prompt to enter the web directory in our project and run a local server. Go to the URL with localhost in it to see if your game works. I hope this tutorial helped you and see you in the next video.